Mm. I love Thanksgiving. Yeah, I know you're really excited and all, but can we like take a breather and maybe have a drink so we can get on with the market update? Okay. And now your Seattle real estate market update with Aaron Janis. Welcome to your November market update. Aaron, how about we jump right into those numbers? All right, what a lovely idea, Diane. As always, let's start with a look at median home prices around the area. Beginning here in Seattle, the median sales price of all condos and residential units last month was $850,000, which is up 7.59% from the same time last year. It's also up over last month as well. On the other side of the lake, the east side has a median sales price of 1.2 million last month, which is up 6.57% year over year. Now, if we zoom out and look at all of King County, we see the median sales price sits at $811,000, which is not only up 20 grand over last month, but up year over year, 8.13%. So, Diane, everything in the news is doom and gloom, and we're clearly shifted to a buyer's market, right? <laughs> well, we know how accurate the news is, right? Let's dig into the inventory numbers and see what it's really doing. Starting here in Seattle, we see active inventory is up this month over 55% year over year, while pending sales are down nearly 42%. However, there is currently still only 2.47 months worth of inventory, which is only about a week more than last month. And say it with me now, if there is under three months of inventory, it is still technically a seller's market. Okay, looking over at the east side, we see active inventory is up. These numbers are always so crazy. 359% year over year, pending sales are down on the east side by almost 39% from last year. And we're currently looking at under two months worth of inventory. And finally, looking across all of King County, the active inventory is up about 123% year over year with pending sales down 38%. We currently have 2.13 months worth of inventory in King County. All right, Aaron, what's going on in the way of interest rate these days? Yeah, not much going on there. Rates, it's the tip top Yeah, nothing to see here. Okay, that's not true. Clearly the market is adjusting to this new normal when it comes to the interest rate environment. Just this week, okay, maybe last week by the time you watch this, rates dropped an incredible half percent in one day. And I'm, I'm told that's the biggest one day drop ever. Uh, this was due to the 100% rational market reaction to a CPI report issued by the government showing that things were just a little bit better than expected when it comes to inflation. Rates went down, the stock market rallied, totally rational. But what's important to note about this is that a half point drop in the rate is about $40,000 in purchasing power. And that is huge. Well, that really is huge. And that's great news as we head deeper into fall and winter. In fact, I believe we're going to have another video about how this could in fact be the perfect time to buy, right? You know what, Diane? That's exactly right. So stay tuned. Next month, uh, we're gonna release a new series that we're calling Janus Group Shorts, where you give us 90 seconds and uh, you know, we'll, we'll change your life. As long as we don't oversell it or anything. <laughs> In the meantime, and as always, if you, your coworkers, friends, or family need guidance in their real estate journey here in the Seattle area, please let us know. Particularly in a shifting market, you need a team on your side that has been through these market shifts before and knows how to navigate a rapidly changing market. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Do it now. Smash that button. And of course, on behalf of all of us here at the Janus Group, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. We are incredibly grateful for you and your continued support, and we do wish you and your family the best. House Goals Realized. Janus Group at Remax Integrity. It's a tooth!